calculations and uh, application so uh, we may have to take up uh, some data do some kind of calculation so what i am doing is parallelly i am putting up an excel sheet also to demonstrate uh, uh, in how how we actually calculate all these things and how do we interpret it so i am taking a live data and based on that we are trying to drive this entire concept and most of the time most of our concepts will be driven through that mechanism itself whether it is fra or any of the other stuff so the initial part in this being a, a scatter plot of the data where when i want to talk about a correlation or a regression it's more about uh, the interaction between the two variables are they moving together in the same direction if one is going up is the other also going up or is it the opposite direction or no relation at all so that is obtained through a simple scatter plot trying to plot the two data items let's say here i am taking a data items uh, right from jan 05 till jan 13 the quarterly share price of a company versus uh, the earnings of that company one year one period lag one quarter lag lag earnings so i would like to do a scatter plot between these two data items now doing a scatter plot is actually in this case is telling me it is giving a relationship between the x value which is the share price and the y value which is the lag and in this case what we are observing is it looks like a 45 degree straight line from the origin it is looking like a 45 degree straight line a 45 degree straight line will give me a, an an indication that uh, both as x is increasing probably y is also increasing to some to a large extent we are able to observe that as x values are increasing the y values are also increasing but in some cases we may observe a pattern that as x is increasing y could be falling or we could observe a pattern that even if x is increasing y may or may not be changing at all or in some cases more some cases less so based on that we arrive at what is the relationship between the two variables so scatter plot is one of the diagrams which help us in finding out the the relationship between the two variables the more it is aligned with a 45 degree straight line the more i say it is positively correlated or the more it is uh, a minus 45 degree line i say it is more strongly negatively correlated but the more the flatter it is horizontal it is i can uh, go with there is no correlation existing right and uh, we have uh, found out using a formula also how do i find out correlation and we have used it uh, in our earlier uh, cases where we said correlation for a sample is nothing but x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by n minus 1 so here also on this data let's say if i am trying to find out sorry uh, n minus 1 is for a sample and uh, in most of the cases in a real world we work only on samples so that's where we'll have n minus 1 only for finding out the correlation or co co uh, or uh, covariance right so we are uh, going with x bar so first thing just as a quick refresher the x bar is trying to come out with a simple average of the values average of x and y bar coming out as average of y so here i am taking y as the one period lag earnings and x as the share price okay so i am taking average of one period lag earnings so this is what it is now i want to find out x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by n minus 1 so going with it x minus average of x then i am taking y minus average of y so here every element of 
x minus the average of x. This is what I do. All right. So I am doing it uh, for every element of x. I am doing it with respect to the average of x minus average of x. Similarly, I am doing a y minus average of y. So I am taking this as y minus average of y. So every element I am subtracting from the mean. That's how we are doing with our. So x minus average of x into y minus average of y divided by n minus 1. So that's where I am uh, looking at uh, the multiplication of those two. x minus average of x multiplied by y minus average of y. And all these things are being summed up. So that's where I am looking at covariance in this case as nothing but the summation of x minus average of x into y minus average of y divided by n minus 1. So here n in our case is 33 observations or probably I am starting from the second row. So there are 32 observations. So minus 1 is making it 31. So which is arriving at the covariance being 286, 2,86,000. 2, now this covariance, the next question that comes up is, is it high or low? Covariance as such does not have any boundary. Yeah, it ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity. So there is no base for me to say whether it is high or less. So from that standpoint, only the, the sign matters. If they are positively, they have a positive movement. I, don't, I can't say how strong is that movement. Right? So from that standpoint, a correlation has been introduced, which is uh, simply the normalization part of the covariance, which is nothing but covariance divided by the standard deviations of both of the variables. Now, when I am taking uh, the standard deviation of x or as well as uh, the standard deviation of uh, y, just as a process, it is nothing but each x minus x bar, whatever we have done, I can do the squaring. Right? x minus x bar, the e, x minus x bar square. which is uh, coming out to this is my x minus x bar square same way I do y minus y bar square all right now, my standard deviation is nothing but x minus x bar squared into y minus uh, x minus x bar squared add up divided by n minus 1. So, that is where here I am taking the square root of x minus x bar squared totally added up, which is the summation of x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1, which is 31 again in our case. So in this case, it is saying the standard deviation of x is around 343 units. And uh, similarly, the standard deviation of y is coming out to this divided by 31. 